Hi everybody. Have you ever been to the Florida Keys, driving down the road, and you look over and you think you've entered into a scene from killer clowns from outer space? Well, have no fear. You have not, and we're not going to turn you into cotton candy pods. And unfortunately, the circus has not come to town. What you are actually seeing are fumigation tents for termites. And that's going to lead us in today's topic. Let's talk termites. I'm Lauren with Island Breeze Realty here in Marathon, Florida, and we're going to talk about the two different types of termites we have here in the Florida Keys. The first termite we're going to talk about is our West Indian drywood termite. It's going to be the more common termite that you're going to hear about down here. And although it is a termite and it is a pest and nobody wants a pest, right? they are going to be not as severe as other termites. Uh, the way they develop, they develop very slowly. It typically takes them about five plus years to mature, and they usually stay localized to one area of wood, one piece of wood. And what you notice when they have obvious signs of these termites is you typically see little mounds of feces, or what's also known as kick out from the holes from these termites. Um, what happens when they swarm so I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, is when they swarm, they're actually going to then try to colonize somewhere else, maybe in that piece of wood or a different piece of wood. Now our dry wood termites are the ones that are found only in buildings. Our next termite we're going to talk about is our Asian subterranean termite. Now these guys are a bit more severe if they are found because of their development. It is a little bit more rapid. What these termites are actually looking for, though, is moist wood or some sort of moist so so the, excuse me, soil substrate to be in. Um, these termites, like I said, can become severe in a very short amount of time. And what you'll notice with them is maybe dispersal flights. You may notice foraging tubes or just damage to the wood in general. Those are your first indications of this termite. These guys can also live in live trees versus our dry wood termite, which you're not going to be finding in trees because, right, they're only found in buildings. Swarming event. Let me explain that a little bit. So what happens with a swarming event is when they actually reach reproductive maturity, the adults take on wings, and then their goal is to go colonize somewhere else. So they're going to swarm, find a new location, and then upon landing, they're actually gonna shed those wings within minutes of landing, and then find that new area to colonize. Termites actually like light too, they're attracted to light. So when a swarming event occurs, some people have you know, seen them outside, maybe they're outside light, maybe around street light, you know, if it's kind of you know, dusk time. When we talk about that dry wood termite, right, they're seeking a piece of wood. So during a swarming event with these guys, their ideal prime spot is going to be finding wood with holes, with cracks, with knots, anything like that. So really good thing for someone to do that, you know, owns that property, owns that home is if you do know of areas like that on the outside is sealing those areas up, blocking that, creating that barrier. That way they can't get in basically. Now, there's different methods for treating termites and the pest companies that we have locally are more than happy to discuss those with you and see what would be right. You can also do termite checks, of course, just to, you know, see you know, if they are present, what it may be. Um, like I said, those subterranean termites that are a little bit more severe, not as common, not what we're seeing all the time. Dry wood termites, they are here, we do encounter them, but because of that rate of development and maturity with them, it does take a little bit more time for them to kind of get to that severe level and out of control. However, any concerns though, obviously Pest Company can certainly help you out. I hope you found today's video informative and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.